Hello, good morning. I am going to discuss further on recursive functions and in particular about what is called the GCD. So GCD of two numbers A and B will be B if A mod B is 0. It means if A divides, if A is divisible by B, then B will be the answer. Otherwise, the GCD is defined in terms of GCD of B, B comma A mod B. So let us see one practical problem related to this. So if I take some two numbers, uh, let us say that numbers uh, 8 and 6, the two positive numbers. And if I want to calculate the GCD of 8 and 6, I divide this A. Let us take it as A and this as B. I divide A by B and if the remainder is 0 then B is the answer. But you see when 8 is divisible by 6, when 8 is divided by 6, 6 goes one time and the remainder is 2. So remainder is not 0. Therefore we write that the GCD of 8 and 6 is, is a now reduced to the problem of writing as GCD of 6 and 2. So this comes here and this 2 is and this 2 is nothing but a mod b. So that's what here it is a mod b. So now in the next iteration so 6 mod 2 is 0. Therefore 6 mod 2 is 0. Therefore we say that now GCD of this 8 and 6 is 2. Supposing we take the case where the GCD of instead of 8 and 6 I write it as 6 and 8. So once again this is A and this is B. So 6 mod 8. So 6 and write 8 it goes 0 times the remainder is 6. So what happens is you simply cross it. Take that B here and become this. So simply you write that if it is GCD of a comma b is b if a divides b otherwise it is gcd of b comma a mod b so i have clearly explained in my earlier lectures on gcd uh, how to answer the problem and you will find more and more explanation about this but right now let us pay attention to my recursive function and this is my base condition. If A mod B is 0, then I am going to return B. So let me write this uh, recursive function. I say int GCD. I write int A and uh, int B as the formal parameters. And I simply write here, if A mod B is 0, if it is 0, I return B. Else, else what I do is, as I have written here, now you need to calculate, you, else you write return GCD of B comma A mod B. So, simply translating that into an equivalent function. So, I have already written here that the GCD of A comma is B if A mod B is 0. Otherwise, it is this. So, the same explain the same uh, right up here so int gcd a and b if a mod b is 0 then return b b is the answer otherwise you return gcd of b comma a mod b thank you